Greetings, comic fans. Um, it's Kamikaze Guy with another, obviously, uh, video that has been promising a few people for a few weeks now. So it's way past time I actually got this done. And it's basically just to show you how I catalog my collection. Um, I have tried um, a couple of software packages. Um, they've been okay, but they just offer far more than I'd need. Um, things like putting down when size the issue number when they were released, who wrote it and who drew it and all that. Um, to me, unless this informa it's information you're going to share with other people, and it's information you know anyway, I don't necessarily need to see the need to you know write all that down. <laughs> Possibly the amount you paid for it, if you ever think of selling them, but all this extra stuff, it's like very time consuming. If, I, you know, if you're sharing it with yourself, then why you need to record it all? But anyway, that, that's just me. So what I ended up doing, actually I did this, I started with this, and later on when my collection got quite big, got big to me, um, I thought, you know, that's when I thought I'd try electronic means. But in the end it was just, it wasn't for me. So I just stick with this, it's easier. And um, I'll come back to this. And what I started with is simply um, large thumbnail galleries. Uh, obviously it took quite a while to uh, cobble together all um, the cover images for the titles. Um, a few places you are able to download like a database of maybe 50 to 100 in one go but for the majority of the time and the majority of the issues that I've collected it's like go to page one for issue one copy the image go to the next one so yes yeah, um, collect all the thumbnail all the images to make the thumbnail very time consuming but uh, I think worth it in the long run and also it got you to get to know the covers so after a while you could just look at it quickly and you'd know which issue it was. So um, I started off with Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I think this is yeah, volume one. Um, essentially it's a glorified list tick. Uh, when I, I, I can't remember what software I use but I just print out the number of the issue underneath and just mark them off as when I got them. Uh, nice and red, nice and uh, bright, so you could see at a glance if I had it or not. Uh, you can see that the two I haven't got. Uh, surprise, surprise. Oh, let me get it into focus. I don't know which one we're going. Right, okay. It looks in focus-ish. But it's obviously it's one and two I haven't got. The red dots I put in uh, to denote that I've got a reprint of it and I just fill it in completely once I have the issue so there you go, lots of nice red lines hopefully one day <laughs> I can cross those two off as well um, mm, perhaps when I retire I've saved enough by then yeah, so volume one of Spider-Man lots of nice red marks I'll just show you. Uh, yes, this is when I started. Started collecting proper from Amazing 390. And this is the issue that had was polybagged with the preview book and like sample cell from the 90s animation series. So I mean, that's, that's quite a good one to start off with because you've got something extra. And this 402, is that 402? Yeah, that's when I stopped. I think regular collecting, so it wasn't, wasn't much of a, what, less than maybe a year. Um, I'm not sure why I stopped there. I think the plan was originally just uh, stop at 400 because it would be a nice number to stop at. But I went over. Um, I don't know when I picked these up because for ages I had up to that one which was the, the original end of volume one oh dragging the memories out of my mind now but I can't remember if I bought those at the time even though I thought I stopped it then maybe I didn't 
I don't know what I'm talking about. Does, does it really matter in the long run? No, it doesn't. But um, yeah, for a while it was, it was I had up to there, and then when I started again, and then realising they'd they'd started volume two of this and spectacular and no and the others. Like, oh no, I got there's a few to fill in. Yeah, so I think there was a while when I thought that was the end. I've managed to get with it since. Right, let me just flip through the other titles. Uh, there's the annuals as well. I've got maybe half of the annuals. They have a bug of the place in the right time in between their issues. <laughs> uh, the web annuals. Yeah, something wrong with my spacing on this one. So, web. Is that web? Yeah. Came out like that some for some reason. But for me it was just um a very visual way of recording what I have and what I was yet to get. I didn't have the monotony of writing stuff out over and over again. And it was just fun to do. So here's what that's that's Top of Farland, Spider Man. Yeah, was that that was the last one I had. And how many years later, I had an extra page. Uh, spectacular. It's just very easy. It's, it's something you can just sort of pick up and flick through. If you need to, if somebody mentions something about a particular cover, you see something to check up. It's all very well having these things stored electronically because you can, you know, you can have all these on a, you know, something the size of your fingernail. But to access it, you got, you know, you go and turn it on and wait for it to boot up. Access the software with this, you know, an analog format. You can just pick it up, open it, and look at it. And within moment, you know, moments, you're looking at what you want to look at. So there's, I think, there's always um, a benefit to having something, you know in analogue form, which means something that exists in the real world rather than digital. So there's, yeah, spectacular, the later ones. Yeah, team up. When I first started buying comics, it was anything with Spider-Man on, so I got quite a few team ups. So I thought, at the time, it's like, oh, I'll have these covers as well but I've not really picked up many more of them since that time I've only got maybe half a dozen so I think this is like a backup collection if when I I've completed my main collections it's something else I might go on to finish off it's always nice to have options but it's also nice to have room in your house <laughs> so there's a, a trade-off somewhere Oh yeah, and there's Fantastic Four. My two missing ones. <gasps> One day maybe, we shall see. If I just flick through, flick, quickly flick through the rest. Uh, oh yeah, and all, all the annuals up to 2000. <laughs> Oh yeah, volume two, and then volume three. Originally, I wasn't going to go past volume one. Uh, then a friend gave me all of volume two, Heroes Reborn, and maybe the first 32, 33 of volume three. Oh, uh, well, that just set me off again. Oh well, I might as well carry on with those. Then I heard it, they were ending it after the death of the Torch, and seeing this was my favourite title it, kind of, it still is despite the iffy storylines lately I might as well collect it right to the end and then start your volume 3 now and we'll fill in the rest of the gaps I've still got one more to go which is that one but I want the um, the variant cover I think the fourth printing which is final because I've got the flame on so I just need final I'm not that bothered about variants in general 
but having those other three, you might as well get the the last one to complete it. So it would be a real niggle if I end up with that version, you know, the original printing and not the variant. <gasps> there you go. Final issue. Oh, I'll just try and get that in focus. Yeah, now they're, they're ending it again, aren't they? It's, it's, I think they devalue the whole point of doing that every time they do it because you have that final issue and we've, like, within the line afterwards there's another one, another final issue. I know you've got FF in between it but when you've got two final issues very close together it's like well what's the point of that? It's like saying the torch is dead! Oh he's alive again! They're just devaluing the whole emphasis of what final issues and deaths are supposedly meant to be but you all know that anyway. And they're doing it again next year. Uh, oh my focus is gone. So I'm, I'm doing this on my DSLR. It doesn't have I don't have automatic focus. We've got manual lenses on it. Right, moving on. Quick look. My tales of suspense. I think it's three. Yeah, fifty-nine, sixty-three. That's been a bugger to get. Missed that on eBay so many times in sixty-five. Quite a few times. I've seen 65, but it's been from America and the auctions have ended like 2 o'clock in the morning. I just not remember to wake, wake up. Oh, I've got. I've marked that off that way because it means I've got it, but I haven't actually haven't received it yet. I need to mark that one off. <laughs> and there was. Oh, I bought one lot from someone. He sent me a nice um, digital copies um, of Towers of Suspense from 39. Oh, mm. I don't know if I'll ever start collecting Iron Man. I only have like a passing interest. But maybe when I start reading these properly, I might get into Iron Man more. May collect the earlier issues, but if not, I've I've got them in that form. Oh, electronic form. Oh, <laughs> and we've got. Oh, so I have, yeah, I have some Planet of the Apes, which I quite like because it's an awesome series of films. Great idea. So I've got all of Avengers of Planet of the Apes. These are in US series which are great because they're more magazines than comics because you've got um, behind the scenes details, interviews and sort of features and that as well as the, the strip. All but six I think. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-nine being the most expensive one of course. Um, but they're a great read. I think I've read more of the, sort of the articles than I have the strips. Yeah, big Apes fan. And then there's the Marvel UK version, which I have some of the early editions. This is something I sort of pick up every once in a while. Usually, if someone sends a lot for um, bargain price, so this is like um, a filler collection almost. If there's nothing else around that I'm after. Well, it usually is, but it's um, it's just an extra thing to collect. I mean, no rush to finish off. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, oh yeah, this is the X Men original run. Just no sim one and two. That's what I've already shown you. A big bunch of those, and there's uh. My Avengers. I collect up to the first 100, but for some reason my thumbnails just went up to what 95? Yeah, 95. But yeah, there's all those. What's it? Oh yes, no, that doesn't mean I've got a reprint. Oh, I've got a reprint of that now. I I've, I've included the minus one by mistake. Yeah, because I've marked off number two, and I haven't got number two. <laughs> yeah, I bought that as a reprint. That I've got as the um, Golden Record reprint. So still getting one and two to get. <sighs> Again, one day. Put them in the cheaper copies first, and then why about getting expensive ones later? Uh, oh! Volume 1, Captain America. Almost completed this now, I've got three issues left to get. Uh, 117, 
if I can find it there. First Falcon. Uh, 117, 174? One, is it 74? No, it's 157. Where's that? Just using the screen, <laughs> trying to find it. No, I can't do it. Where is it? I've gone past it. There it is. 157. I think that might be a first something. Is it the vi first Viper? I think. Could be. And way. Why did that come out like that? I don't know. Way over towards the end is 444. I think I got a lot of these in, not a run, but um, someone's selling a whole run individually and I managed to get a whole run besides that one. <laughs> and I've had trouble getting that one since. But just those three left to complete volume one. I have the volume two, I've got the four volume two series in the Heroes Re Reborn and the first issue of Volume 3 of Captain America I don't know if I'm going to go any further than that I'd like to but again it's just it's a case of time, well, time but space and money and since I'm still to read the majority of these <laughs> uh, most of them <laughs> I'll see how I go once I've um, finished these and then actually read them this is my small Superman collection. I didn't really have much of an interest in Superman um, until I got. Oh uh, yeah, I think one of the colours was going on the the colour cartridge. I think it was this one. This was in like a grab bag from the works bookshop. To I think four for a quid maybe, and uh, thought it was great. Now I have to find out what happens in the rest of the rest of the story. So I picked up the whole rest of the death, the rebirth and the reign of the Superman storyline right up to the um, epilogue issue. Which is Supergirl, isn't it? No. Does it go over the page? No, it doesn't. So I picked up all those. And um, I think I read them all in one sitting and it was a bloody epic story. really liked it. Uh, I can't get it in focus at all now. Excellent story. I've seen the animation, the animated version of it, Superman Doomsday. Um, I changed a few things, but uh, that was quite good. I'm still not sure about which, how it actually came back and how the Eradicator came about. So I might have to read that bit again. Because I think the Eradicator just kind of, kind of appeared. But on the whole, I really liked it. And uh, having the four Supermen uh, sort of together. I don't know, that, that really worked well for me and the resolution to it all was like, ooh. and the whole bad guy at the end of it is coming back isn't he but whether I'll pick that up I don't know right okay moving on one of my two DC collections it's Flash Volume 1 not very red crossings off if you notice I went for a, when I first started I bought, I bought quite a few but then back to finish off Spider-Man and that and I'm, you know, every time you get towards the end of a collection it's like, oh I don't want to stop, I need to find something else to collect <laughs> so I've always been a sort of fan of The Flash, love the TV series 23 years ago, or 22 years ago so I started with The Flash again it's just, I think I'll concentrate on these more once I've finished off the other ones I think it's only Flash is volume, volume 1 and volume 2, I've got a nice big chunk in the middle of volume 2 these are the full runs that I'm collecting, the other ones I'm doing now um, like the Avengers and X-Men, they're all partial runs, I'm not, I'm doing, I'm not collecting the whole lot and it'd be just too much money and it'd take up too much space so it's, when I work out how when I'm going to collect something it's like is there just a certain area that I can collect so first 100 with the, with the Avengers, the first 66 of X-Men um, I started with Daredevil and I've gone up to I think 43 because after that the logo changes so 43 that's a nice small number to collect with uh, Doctor Strange it's his initial run after, from when it changes from tale, Strange Tales so 168 to 183 something like that a nice small run to have just as, as an example but with uh, the Flash, I'm, I'm 
go for the whole lot in volume two and three. I think there's one more short volume, volume three, and then it goes into New 52, I think. You know, but there's um, how many new flashes for me? Well, the only one I've got recently is the first of <gasps> Flashpoint, because I want to see how that New 52 came about. So I'll just have those, that one mini series, and then concentrate back on these. I'm still getting some. Batmans, but they're sort of in dribs and drabs around about the issue 200 just before and just after that that's what I'm going for at the moment I don't know if I'm going to bother having a complete run or maybe I'll just pick up odd issues as and when I find them but I don't really want to be collecting too many different titles at one time because you'll be picking, you know, a bit here and a bit there you'll never finish anything so I need to kind of consolidate what I'm going to collect at one time I think so there's the flesh and then what were they? Oh, Marvel Tales, yeah. Again in the early days anything with Spider Man in. Of course they're all reprints now and having the majority of the originals don't really need to get any more of these. I've kept a couple. I can't remember why. I just know I've kept a couple of these for some reason. Yeah, I've just kept the actual thumbnails as well, just for nostalgia's sake. Yeah. And up to the end of Marvel Tales. So those have been the main ones. There's I've still got um to print out do versions of this for um Daredevil Doctor Strange and the Hulk. So I've I picked up I managed to pick up Hulk hundred and two quite reasonably priced so that started me off collecting the Hulk um, so to get the original 6 issue when I bought the reprints it Marvel Collector Classics that took a little while to work out what ones I needed because they reprint they split the stories over more one or two or three issues sometimes and they print them out of order <laughs> so the reprints don't run from issues 1 to 6 anyway, um, and to sort of condense these ones I was going to uh, comment fairs and stuff. I, well, no, actually, just to make it easier as well. At a glance of what I did and didn't have, I just did the list of the numbers and ticked them all off, so you can still see it. One, two, three to get for Captain America. So I just take the list to the, wherever the comment box were. You can see at a glance what I had. There's a few times I'd bought a load and come home and found I bought something twice in the same day because I hadn't ticked it off, <laughs> and then. Once it, what I, the numbers that I needed kind of whittled down quite small, I just did the list of the ones that I wanted. So it's just much easier to have the list of the ones you need when you're going through eBay or you're going to a comic shop somewhere. So, oh yes, my Batman's. I started with Nightfall. Oh no, that's the next page there. So I did all the ex, sort of the extraneous titles as well and ticked them all off. There's still a few more to go. There's a couple more Legend of the Dark Knight that I have. Part of Night Quest, I think that one there, but it's a few there that I still need. But again, it's just glorified list ticking, nothing special, no massive database, and you can pick it up and look at it at a glance. Ah, oh, one, four, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's they're kind of in order of priority of what you want to get first, but it's <laughs> um perhaps not in this lifetime so I'm sort of concentrating on Captain America at the moment there's Flash, so Volume 1 lots to get a Volume 1 fair few still in Volume 2 um, X-Men, oh yes I went to X-Men Volume 2 so a friend was selling quite a few of his like the whole of the Phalanx Covenant the whole app storyline for a fiver and another um, some of the Executioner's songs, some odd ones you know, 10, 15 issues for a fiver. So that started me off with volume two. So it's like, how far can I go on volume two? Because I'm not going to get all, all of those. And uh, with issue 114, it changes to all new X, well, new X Men. And I didn't like the design. So I thought, right, well, okay, that gives me a specific number to collect. So there's maybe, I think I've got maybe half of those. So there's those to fill in after maybe Captain America. Because the rest of them mostly ticked. 
Uh, yeah, then I did a, a list of all the, the Nightfall issues in like story order using good old Comic Vine. That was a big help. So I could see kind of a, again at a glance the ones that I was missing. So there's what, one, two, three, four, five. Five of those. Robin, Shadow, and Legends, I think. Five of those story codes to finish that. Then I'll pick up Odds and Sods with Batman when I see some bargains. And then it's just all of Batman. <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, right, Dream On. Up to what? 713. Just for the sake of ticking them off, so I can see again at a glance, because I'm not that familiar with how Batman runs, with the logos changing and the artists and the, when characters come and go. But it's just an easy reference. It works for me. It's nice and simple. There you go. And I doubt half of this is even in focus. Um, so you've seen basically what my collection consists of. If you wanted me to do anything in more detail of any of these particular titles, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll, um, I'll do a video highlighting that particular collection or one of that, depending on how many there are. I am planning on doing something quite big with Spider-Man. But I've just thinking about it, it's, it's, it's quite a bit of logistics to sort out with that, but hopefully that will be coming quite soon. Oh, um, I hope that you've enjoyed that, and it's been somewhat informative. Not necessarily a different way to catalogue your comics, but it's a fun way, an interesting way. Um, what they usually say, thumbs up if you want to, thumbs down if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to, it's a at Free World, but I hope you enjoyed this at the very least. Thanks for watching and listening to me waffle. Bye!